Excellent! I don't know why I'm so tired today. I, well, I kinda do. It's cause I drank wine last night and I haven't done that for quite a while. But today's video is gonna be a little different than normal. We're gonna go through a, a bit of a day in my life. But I wanted to start off by talking about something like some philosophy. I wanna talk, I wanna talk philosophy with you guys for a second. I personally believe that you should clean up after yourself. I believe people should clean up after themselves. It has to do with personal responsibilities. If you make a mess, you should clean it up. All that said, I'm gonna hire someone else to clean our house. So this will kind of serve as like a before shot. We're not getting house cleaned today. We're getting a house cleaned soon though. Joe's here today. I actually have something important to do first. Uh, there's my wife, she's sleeping with the baby on the couch. So we're gonna try not to awake her. She's been watching House Hunters. Do you know how many House Hunters episodes there are? It's an absolutely insane amount. Priority one is I need to post a video. Not this video that you're watching, a different one, because I haven't posted one yet today. Joe is here because we were shooting a different video, and I typically take the edits that he does and I load them up here at home, but he's not always here to watch me do that. Joe's really tired too, though, because he only got like three hours of sleep last night, and why? He was dog, dog sitting. He was dog sitting. I don't know why I bring that up. It's not really. It's but anyway. Point, <laughs> point being, that's why this video might be a little off. But here we go. Loading up, <laughs> loading up another project. Only 900 megabytes a second. Usually it'll go up faster than that. I do love transferring between drives on this computer though. Just scrubbing through the edit, Joe did, he did a great job. It's so good. All right, edit is good to go. We're gonna leave that to render. We have other stuff to do. Hannah is just chilling in her little chicken onesie. Look at her chicken onesie, there's chickens all over it. Uh -huh. Hi baby. She's, she's very engaged right now. Somehow this is all related to getting ready for having house cleaners come to clean our house. But this is uh, the Lian Lee PC011 Dynamic Case in white, which I've used for quite some time now. I've done several builds, I've been using it for testing. But I originally got this when it was an early version, and one of the problems with the early versions was this lower piece for the front uh, tempered glass, which sits right there. Basically, it's a, it's a metal piece that's got some adhesive on it with some tabs that sits down into a slot right there. The adhesive was failing on earlier units, basically. This I have removed and used several different methods to attempt to reattach it, which um, was only partly successful. But I came out here the other day and the whole panel had fallen off and down to the ground. Fortunately, it didn't shatter because the top adhesive has failed now as well. So the top is what should attach this little piece right there that holds it in place, and that just that just fell off. So like I said, Lee and Lee, uh, I'm pretty sure when they addressed the failing adhesive for the bottom of this, they must have also addressed it for the top. I hope that is the case. But point for me at least is that I'm not going to use this case anymore for the time being. So I'm decommissioning it. I also need to pull this test bed out of here because uh, there's a good chance I'm going to be doing some Ryzen 3000 series comparisons and I definitely need an Intel 300 series setup to test and compare to and I'm, I'm going to continue to use this. So, so I'm going to pull this out, switch it over to a test bed and uh, put some of this stuff away. Next we have this LG monitor, which uh, of course I need to integrate into the set. So I'm gonna be replacing this one with that one, because this, this, that one's better. There it is, new monitor setup. Actually, kind of, I, I kind of like this here because it's curved, right? Curved, so it gives me a little bit more space, a little bit more access to the controls down there. Oh, but look, it's after five. It's quitting time. Want a beer, Joe? Maybe. All right. So yesterday did not quite go as planned. Uh, it was a good day, but the stuff I wanted to get done as far as getting the house ready didn't really happen. Uh, and now it's Wednesday morning. I'm still dealing with like the remnants of yesterday, which includes a pyology that we had after Awesome Hardware. 
I also went to lunch with MSI, which was glorious. They, we actually had some sushi, it was wonderful. Um, but they, they gave me this, so I got a, a Meg X570 Ace to use for the AMD stuff that's coming out. I also had these packages arrive, three boxes actually, very important boxes. I opened them to double check what was inside, but I can't show you guys the contents quite yet, so that will be coming in a future video. MSI also gave me a lucky dragon, this is for Hana. I thought that was very thoughtful of them. But anyway, Hero is now here to supervise the last minute frantic remainder of the cleanup of this whole house area because our house cleaning service is arriving like literally in less than an hour. Um, oh, and it sounds like Hana needs some help too. Here you go, Hana. There's Lucky. Will you be friends with Lucky now? Aw. They're best friends now. Well, the cleaning service came, they just left a little while ago, and everything is so clean. I just, like, I can't even, I can't even, look, here's the kitchen. This was what I ended up doing with all of the stuff that I couldn't do anything with, but uh, piled it up so it could at least get out of their way. And here's, here's like our dining room. Here's the living room area, couch covers currently getting washed. Uh, there's Hiro and Nori who like to make things messy again. But yeah, everything's just real nice and tidy, they did a great job. They also cleaned up in the back of the house, which I don't need to bother giving you guys a tour of, but uh, everything, everything's clean. And it only took them like a couple hours, and now we can do other things with the rest of the day. So exciting. It's Thursday now, and I guess what I met yesterday by doing other stuff ended up being uh, looking after my daughter a little bit more and spending some more time making dinner and stuff yesterday. But I think this video is actually turning into a pretty good representation of like a, a more of like an average week that we have here, especially now that we do have a daughter and everything. Uh, I made a list of stuff that I only got partway through with. I had at least one moment of panic where I was like, ah, there's too much stuff to do, I can't do it all. And now I get to share with you guys uh, what I like to call my some of my domestic duties here at home. Uh, gonna, be, gonna be lubricating the plumbing, clearing some pipes out. Gonna do work in the bathroom. So we have two bathrooms. Uh, this is the second one. It's kind of the guest bathroom, I guess. It's not a huge bathroom or anything, but it's got a tub, so this is where we wash the baby and stuff. Problem being the sink here. Draining very slowly. Been doing that for a while. I've been meaning to fix it. I meant to do it before the uh, cleaning service came, but uh, we're gonna handle that right now. I guess first things first, I gotta clear out everything down here. I find interesting stuff when you clean out the bathroom, like, I rarely, rarely ever wear contacts these days, but I do have some contact lens solution. Good through August 2010. Here's our situation, we got the existing copper piping, which I'm pretty sure they just added this connector piece to in order to set up this uh, little vanity. I'm gonna remove this piece, probably replace it, and what is caught up in here is probably gonna be really gross. <laughs> Ew. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh yeah, when you shave, huh? Or something. That's probably. Just shave in here and stuff. So we got some nasty pieces down here uh, that are fairly clogged. I'm gonna try to find replacements for most of them, or maybe all of them. And at the same time, we're trying to do a little snake through the U bend there to see if we can clear any gunk that's out in that. Uh, and we might try to find a better solution for that, but all this means we need to run to the hardware store. Alright, so we got the new sink pop-up, we got the extension, uh, we got a hair snake here, which uh, we'll use instead of my real snake that I can't find to hopefully clean out the U-bend, and then plumber's pipe. We will now engage in lightning quick bathroom fix, starting with the snake. Yeah. This is how it goes together. So the way I like to think about plumber's buddy is to think of it like thermal paste, like putting on a CPU, and make a little snake of it, make a little gasket down there, and then it's going to compress and fill in all the gaps, just like between your heatsink and your CPU. And that entire explanation I just stole from Joe. I know, my snake's not long enough. <laughs> there we go. 
That's right, it got longer. Some definite trial and error with this installation, but uh, after some intrepid work, I think we're at least at the point where we have this downspout connected. I am now going to tighten that lower uh, nut on there with these. Look at this. Hey! <laughs> I was about to turn the water on and do a test, but I should probably put this in first. Oh, is it a food? I think that's good. Okay. Success! That's good. Theoretically. Assuming there's no further leaks. So I'm basically a plumber now. Uh, the total cost of the hardware that I used for that fix was $44 and some change. So that was probably less expensive than calling a plumber. And I am happy and very proud of myself. Thanks, Joe, for helping with that. But you guys might have noticed this mosaic blur that's going on down here because I've gotten to the point where I can't show you guys what I'm working on next. It's very exciting setting up a test bed right here. Maybe uh, throw a guess out there as to what the heck this is down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll be back actually with a lot of really interesting content I think coming up in the next week or two so hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already we'll see you guys in the next one